and girls we are in the California history social science book in second grade my world interactive we're going to work on pages 16 through 23 today so let's get to page 16 last week we did our timeline and now we are going to talk about life then and now jumpstart activity work with a partner and take turns acting out things you learned to do since you were little. So you could maybe pretend to do this with your mom or dad or brother or sister, like tying your shoe or brushing your teeth. Unlock the big question. I will know that families have a history. You have a past. History is the story of the past. It tells about people and events from long ago. It tells about places and objects too. We use the words yesterday and then to talk about the past. When we talk about the present, we use the words today and now. The word tomorrow tells about the future. Reading check. Highlight words that tell about the past. Circle words that tell about the present and underline words that tell about the future. So let's go through. And in the past, we use yesterday and then. So I'm gonna highlight those. Circle the words that tell about the present. When we talk about the present, we use today and now. And underline words that tell about the future, we use the word tomorrow for the future. Some of our vocabulary will be history, ancestor, and culture. Academic vocabulary is compare and contrast. You have a past too. Do you know when you took your first steps? What were, your, what were the first words you said? Learning how to walk and talk is part of your personal history. Using a fork and knife to eat and tying your shoelaces on your own are too. Learning how to read, write, and act are important things to do. What are you learning how to do today? What do you want to learn how to do in the future? All of these activities are, and will be, a part of your own personal history. Reading check. Look at the pictures. Circle something you learned to do in the past. Draw a square around something you are learning to do today. And draw a star on something you could learn to do in the future. So, let's look at the pictures. Circle something you learned in the past. You probably learned to crawl in the past. Something you are learning to do today would be reading. We're still learning how to read. Maybe we know how to read, but we're still learning because we're in school. Um, something you might want to do in the future. Draw a star right here. And I'm gonna draw a star right here. Those are things maybe I'd like to learn for the future. If you already know how to do these things, you could say you did those in the past or maybe you're doing them now. Your family has a past. Just like you, your family has a past. You can trace the history of your family by studying it. Ask questions about events that happened to your family. Some questions to ask are, what was life like a decade, that is 10 years ago? What activities did you do in second grade? Your dad or grandmother can tell you how life has changed over time. That's because they are from a different generation. They can also tell you how life has stayed the same. You look here, there's a picture. It's black and white, so it's probably showing us um, something from the past, but it can also be there's uh, a young girl, a mother and a young girl, so maybe it's showing us different generations, teaching skills. And here we have some families getting some clothing in the, in the present. We go shopping and then in the past, perhaps to, make their, to have their clothing, they had to make it. Families needed food and clothing in the past. Today, families need the same things. However, they meet their needs in different ways. Some families grew food in gardens or sewed their own clothing. Today, most people shop in stores to buy food and clothing. You can compare and contrast your life to what their lives were like long ago. So here is the word compare to see how two or more things are similar. So when I think of compare, I think how they are kind of the same. Contrast to see how two or more things are different, different. Reading check. Summarize how life was different in the past. So maybe you would wanna say in the past, people would make their own clothing or they would grow their own food. Um, you're going to write that here. How was life different in the past? Page 20. What questions can you ask family members to learn about your family's history? 
families then and now. An ancestor is a relative who lived long before your grandparents. You may have ancestors who lived a century, that is 100 years ago. Their way of life or culture was similar. It was different too. Clothing, hairstyles, manners, and the way people behaved were all more formal. Today, families are more casual in how they dress and act. Families in the past ate home-cooked meals each night. Today, families sometimes eat prepared or pre-cooked meals. Long ago, children played board games and listened to family members tell stories. Today, you may play games and listen to stories on a computer. And here's a picture of some friends playing a game from long ago. Like in the past, families practice religion. They have morals, which are beliefs about what is right and wrong. Families go to community festivals. They listen to music, watch parades, and celebrate together. Reading check. Look at the picture of the boys from long ago. Talk to a partner about how the children are similar to and different from children today. So I want you to look at this picture. And you don't have to write anything. Just talk to someone about how these children are similar and different to the children that we know today. Lesson three, check. Check your understanding of the key ideas of this lesson. Compare and contrast. Write how the present and past are similar and different. Tell how some things change over time and some things stay the same. So you're going to write um, how the present, which is now, and the past are similar and different. So maybe write two things from the present and two things from the past that are the same and two things from the present and two things from the past that are different. So you might want to split this in half and you could put present and past and you could write how they are the same and then down here you could write how they are different. Okay, or you can organize this however you would like best. Number six, tell what you learned to do when you were little. Tell what you are learning to do today. Tell what you want to learn to do in the future. Use the words past, present, and future. So you're going to do this activity out loud. You could say, when I was little, I learned to brush my teeth. Um, today I'm learning how to read chapter books. And in the future, I'd like to read larger books, longer chapter books, and maybe even write my own book in the future. Something like that. Number seven, understand the quest connections. Write a list of questions you could ask family members to learn more about your family's history. Use a separate sheet of paper. So on a separate sheet of paper, you can make a list of some questions, interview questions for a family member. Page 22, literacy skills sequence. Sequence is the order in which things happen. We use clue words to tell about the order. Some clue words are first, next, and finally. Look at the pictures and read the sentences. See how the sentences match the pictures? Hugo is learning about family history in school. First, he talked with older members of his family. Next, he looked at family photos from the past. Finally, he wrote a report. Hugo told what he learned about his family's history. So we have first, next, and finally. You can see here, first, he talked with family members. Next, he looked at photos. And the last thing he did was he wrote the report. Your turn. Read the sentences and look at the pictures. Write first, next, and finally under the pictures to show the correct order. Then use your own words. Tell about the pictures in the sequence that they happened. First, Leah wrote questions to ask her grandfather. Next, she interviewed him. Finally, Leah gave a presentation to her class telling what she learned about the past. So we're gonna look at these pictures this looks kind of like she's giving a presentation to the class. So you would want to write the word finally right here. And then look at these pictures and decide first or next. Okay. Draw three pictures on a separate sheet of paper. Show three things you did today. Put the pictures in correct sequence. Write first, next, and finally underneath the pictures. Then tell about each one. Okay. So on a separate sheet of paper, you can grab any sort of paper. You can draw um, three pictures, one, two, three, like this, or maybe you could take the paper and fold it into three parts, which I love doing that. Fold it into three parts. 
if you need an adult to help you, that kind of sometimes helps. And then once you have your three parts, you could put what you did first, what you did next, and what you did last. So maybe you would put first when you woke up, you had breakfast, and draw a picture here. Next, we'll go in the middle, and last, we'll go here. Or, like I said on this side, you can just draw three squares and put first, next, and last, and draw a picture of what you did in order today.